Welcome to this episode of our special series 10 minutes with Vivek Sood with Supreme Court senior advocate and country's top legal mind the man who coined the expression the fundamental right to internet today we will understand from him about his upcoming book Shaf and Grain that's going to be released in a few weeks from now welcome to the show sir yes thank you so sir uh, what is this new book all about i guess it is your sixth or seventh book sir yes it is my seventh book and shaf and grain is about the criminal justice system in india nobody has written about the criminal justice system that we have in india so therefore i chose this subject which is close to my heart because i have been a defense counsel a criminal side counsel for three decades now shaf and grain is about the functioning and malfunctioning of the criminal justice system it deals with some of the pressing issues that confront the indian criminal justice system today okay okay and who is this book for sir is it only for the legal community or is it for lay readers like me too so i have taken care to ensure that the book is not only for the legal community you know anybody interested in the subject of the indian criminal justice system can pick up this book and browse through it uh, you know ajay whenever we open the newspapers in the morning crime stories evoke special interest in the minds of the general readers also so i thought that i should write a book which appeals to the common man the common reader the general reader you know general readers across the spectrum are interested in the indian criminal justice system how it functions how it malfunctions you know bail not jail people are being arrested and all these murder cases and rape cases and all kinds of criminal cases you know they are highlighted in the media so i wanted to give a perspective about the indian criminal justice system to the lay readers also apart from the legal community so therefore i have written this book in a journalistic format devoid of you know technical jargon devoid of you know those uh, provisions of law section so and so of so and so etc so i have written it i have written this book in a story like format right sir our audience would be interested to know what are the issues and subjects you have covered in this book because this is such a vast area about the criminal justice system and people would be interested to know more about this so i have selected pressing issues contemporary issues you know that concern the indian criminal justice system today for instance you know the false cases that enter the criminal justice system that is the abuse of criminal law that happens rampantly in the indian criminal justice system so i have written about how these false cases make their way into the criminal justice system and what are the imperative reforms required to put a check on the abuse of criminal law then i have gone on to examine the question bail not jail or jail not bail you know should bail be liberally granted in all kinds of cases or in certain cases jail should be the rule and bail should be an exception so i have critiqued this bail justice in india in one of my chapters then i have gone on to examine the problems in the investigative part of the criminal justice system shoddy investigation corrupt investigation 
dishonest investigation, false implication through investigation. In fact, I have coined the expression malvestigation in my book. Uh, then I have gone on to examine some of the media highlighted cases. You know, for example, the Jessica Lal case, Priya Darshani Mattu rape murder case, the Nirbhaya case. And, and uh, Ajay, I have given my take on the Arushi murder case also. You know, because you have a verdict of conviction by the Sessions Court and you have a verdict of conviction, you have a verdict of acquittal by the High Court. So I have given my views on this, on this Arushi murder case. You know, I have tried to unravel this mystery of Arushi murder. Then, uh, uh, Ajay, I have gone on to write on social media abuse. You know, should it be an offence? How should it be worded? Because Section 66A, as we all know, was grossly misused. And finally, it was struck down by the Supreme Court in Shreya Singhal's case. So I've gone on to examine whether do we need an offence of social media abuse? If so, how should it be tailored? How should it be defined? I have also redefined sedition for the policy makers. You know, how should sedition be defined? It should be defined in a manner that the law is not abused by the law enforcement agencies. Innocents are not roped in for the offence of sedition. So these are some of the pressing issues I have dealt with in this book. Right, sir. Sir, you have been a senior advocate now, especially at the Supreme Court of India. You have dealt with many cases. How have you dealt with issues? Looking from the accused point of view or looking at it from the point of victim of crime? This book definitely leans in favor of the accused. You know, if I, if I compare, uh, this book talks about criminal justice and criminal injustice in India. And definitely I have looked at more from the perspective of the accused, who is the condemned man. You know, every, every accused is presumed to be innocent until proven guilty. So the book focuses on the accused. In fact, in one of my chapters, I have called the accused who are falsely implicated in criminal cases, who are incarcerated for years together in jail on false accusations. I have called such accused men as victims of crime. They are the real victims of crime. So the book, in my view, leans in favor of the accused. But at the end of it, you know, the book is about criminal justice. Right, sir. That's a very interesting topic and interesting subject that you have chosen, sir. And I'm sure a lot of people, including people like me, will be looking forward to this book. So when exactly is this book coming out? Sir? Uh, the book is likely to be released at the end of this month. And, uh, and I think, you know, I, I'm told by the publishers, Bloomsbury, that one can pre-order this book uh, on Amazon and some of the other sites. The book is already available for pre-order. Right, sir. Thank you so much for all this information, sir. And th thank you for your take on such an important subject that concerns us all. Thank you once thank again. You. Thank you. Thank you.